Thanks for joining us at 10. I'm Vicki Liviakis. And I'm Grant Lotus. Our top story tonight, the city of Vallejo is coming off a violent weekend. After a sideshow led to somebody getting shot, there was also a fire and a 7-Eleven was ransacked. Our Crown Force Sarah Stinson joins us now live in the studio after talking with residents imaginably very upset. Sarah? Yes, they are. People who witnessed this rash of crime say it was chaos. Not only was a man shot, but a pickup truck was set on fire at the sideshow, and then people looted this 7-Eleven. People who live in the area say it's disappointing to see this kind of lawlessness in their neighborhood. Surveillance video shows the mayhem that happened in Vallejo on Sunday. Dozens of people running into 7-Eleven at the intersection of Springs Road and Rollingwood Drive and raiding the store fridges and shelves. The manager of the 7-Eleven says no employees got hurt, but thieves took off with eight to $10,000 worth of goods. Police say the crowd came from a sideshow that was happening nearby. I saw a lot of them running towards this way towards my house and they were getting in a vehicle and they had like bags of chips and just random items. This woman lives in the area. She wants to remain anonymous, but says sideshows happen here often, but she could not believe all the crime that she witnessed afterwards. I saw chaos and destruction and violence and in my own neighborhood a block away and I'm tired of it. Police say 911 calls started coming in around 5.30 Sunday night about a fight that broke out at the sideshow. Police say a man was shot at least once and he ran into the 7-Eleven for shelter. And once he was taken to the hospital, police say the looting began. A window is boarded up next to the entrance of the store as it was shattered during the raid. Neighbors expressed frustrations saying nothing is being done to stop this type of crime from occurring in their city. As much as it costs to live in California, and this is what we have to deal with is just ridiculous. Very yeah. frustrated, as you can imagine. So you're saying it's the sideshows that are drawing that sort of may mayhem and then after they look young. Yeah, people it was a lot of store. young people and there's a lot of video. So uh, Vallejo police say they're still investigating. And if people have any information or any cell phone video, I saw a lot of people in that video shooting video on their cell phone. So if you have that, please give that to police. There's still people to be held accountable. That can be self-incriminating too. Yeah, sure. If Very much so. The wrong people the fact that or they the were right there. people yeah. get their hands on it. All right. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks, Sarah.